Well, here's Paul Allen again in front of the Royal Box, just three months after it. We've seen those pictures of you crying coming down the steps, Paul. What do you remember of that now? Oh, I can remember, you know, most of it, and, you know, it was just a great day for me, and that didn't it, you know, at 17, I never expected to be playing at Wembley in the Cup final, and it was just great, and I can remember everything. I just hope it's the same today. You know? that have been held at Wembley since 1974. West Ham were here for the Charity Shield in 75, where they were beaten 2 0 by Derby. John Lyle clearly obviously realising the problems that Dalgleish could cause them. He's old Billy Bonds, don't you let him turn anywhere near our box. And at the moment, Bonds is denying that brilliant Scottish international there. Kennedy with a shot. Oh! And a goal by McDermott! The ball was dropped by Carl. And Jeremy McDermott scores for Liverpool. With 17 minutes gone. Phil Parks. I suppose he'll blame himself. But McDermott... for Brooking and West Ham have got a few up now and on the far side is Alan Devonshire coming in there with a header across there Clements really straight cross for the overhead the best break of the match for West Ham without any question at all with uh, Paul Allen in the first place having uh, made a lot of the running Brooking with the deep cross having looked up and spotted Alan Devonshire on the far side Devonshire a good header in there Clements really stretching and cross with the overhead that was won
She's hot. Incredible. She's S. Superficial. She's C. Complicated. The last thing you do against West Ham is score their goals for them, but Shrewsbury and White were feeling generous. King, the fullback, must have wanted the ground to open up. Shrewsbury weren't brimming with ideas, but one young man caught my eye, Paul Petz. Tended to hide a little, but he's fast, confident, and actually thinks about what he's doing. No question about the master today, Trevor Brooking. He did everything but score, and so nearly managed that as well. Lovely stuff, but it was getting late and there'd been no more goals. So when in doubt, give it to Brooking. Had a touch of the Jimmy Greaves from Paul Goddard, and two nil it is. Brooking was behind every move, and at last his colleagues began to respond. A couple of minutes later, it was 3-0. David Cross bagged the best of the match and took the congratulations. But we all know who it is who keeps West Ham ticking.
corner. That's going to make it close. Of the end with a plastic cup. Oh, what fun we had! Why did he 